Mapagpalang araw sa inyo mga kids. Tayo ngayon ay week 6 pa rin. Lesson 2. Ang ating topic, division of whole numbers with quotients in decimal form. Handa ka na bang matuto sa ating video ngayon? When dividing a decimal by whole number, we estimate the quotient before performing the division. After going through this lesson, you are expected to divide whole numbers with quotients in decimal form. Observe the solution of the given problem below. Clarissa helps in Sarisari's store after her class. If she works 12 hours in 15 days, what is the average number of hours she works there in a day? To solve for n, 12 hours divided by 15 days equals n. So 12 divided by 15. Napansin mo ba mas malaki ang divisor na 15 kaysa sa dividend na 12? Kaya naman ang ating first step, add decimal point and zero in the dividend since it is smaller than its denominator. Lagyan ng decimal point at zero. Then, write the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend. Itaas mo lang ang decimal point. Then, divide like you do with whole numbers. Atin ang simulan ng pagdi-divide tulad ng whole numbers. So, 12 divided by 15 cannot be, lagyan natin ng 0. 0 times 15 equals 0. 12 minus 0 equals 12. Bring down 0. 120 divided by 15 equals 8. 8 times 15, 120. 120 minus 120 equals 0. Kaya naman, Larissa works an average of 8 tenths hours a day in the store. To check, 15 times 8 tenths equals 12. Let us study the given problem below. Roland has 81 pesos and 75 centavos left from his weekly allowance. He wants to share the amount equally to his three siblings. How would each sibling receive? Solution, 81 pesos and 75 centavos divided by 3. Since walang decimal point ang divisor, at ang dividend ay merong decimal point, itaas mo lang ang decimal point. Then, let us divide like whole numbers. 8 divided by 3 equals 2. 2 times 3 equals 6. 8 minus 6 equals 2. Bring down 1. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. 7 times 3 equals 21. 21 minus 21 equals 0. Bring down 7. 7 divided by 3 equals 2. 2 times 3 equals 6. 7 minus 6 equals 1. Bring down 5. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. 5 times 3 equals 15. 15 minus 15 equals 0. Kaya naman, ang ating sagot, 27 pesos and 25 centavos. For learning test 1, find the quotient, write your answers in your notebook. Ating sagot ng number 1, 14 over 6. And that is 14 divided by 6. Ilang 6 sa 14? 
2. 2 times 6 equals 12. 14 minus 12 equals 2. Since wala nang digit na ibababa, nagdaga ng decimal point at 0. Then, itaas ang decimal point. Bring down 0. 20 divided by 6 equals 3. 3 times 6 equals 18. 20 minus 18 equals 2. Lagyan ng 0 ang dividend, then bring down. 20 divided by 6 equals 3. 3 times 6 equals 18. 20 minus 18 equals 2. Napansin mo ba? Palaging 2 ang remainder. Kung ganon, hindi ito matatapos at magiging 3 ang mga susunod pang mga digits. Kaya naman ang ating sagot ay 2 and 33 hundreds. Ating sagutan ang number 2, 20 and 44 hundreds divided by 5. Since walang decimal point ng divisor, itaas lang natin ang decimal point ng dividend. Then, let us divide like whole numbers. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. 4 times 5 equals 20. 20 minus 20 equals 0. Bring down 4. 4 divided by 5 cannot be. Lagay mo ay 0. 0 times 5 equals 0. 4 minus 0 equals 4. Bring down 4. 44 divided by 5, and that is 8. 8 times 5 equals 40. 44 minus 40 equals 4. Lagyan ng 0 ang dividend, then bring down. 40 divided by 5 equals 8. 8 times 5 equals 40. 40 minus 40 equals 0. Ang ating sagot ay pwede nating i-round up sa 2 decimal places. Kaya naman magigi itong 4 and 9 hundreds. Kayang-kaya ng sagutan ang number 3, 4, and 5. Para sa learning task 2, solve for n. Write your answer in your notebook. Ating sagutan ang number 1. 4 divided by 80 equals N. So, 4 ang ating dividend, then 80 ang ating magiging divisor. Napansin mo ba, mas malaki ang 80 kesa sa 4 na dividend? Kung ganun, lagyan natin ang decimal point at 0. Then, itaas ang decimal point. And let us divide. 4 divided by 80 cannot be, lagyan mo ng 0. 0 times 80 equals 0. 4 minus 0 equals 4. Bring down 0. 40 divided by 80 cannot be uli, lagyan mo uli ng 0. 0 times 80 equals 0. 40 minus 0 equals 40. Lagyan mo ng 0 ang dividend, then bring down. 400 divided by 80 equals 5. 5 times 80 equals 400. 400 minus 400 equals 0. Kaya naman ang ating sagot para sa number 1 ay 500. Para sa number 2, 7 divided by 14 equals N. So, 7 ang nasa loob at 14 ang magiging divisor. Mas malaki uli ang divisor kesa sa dividend. Ating lagyan ng decimal point at 0. At itaas ang decimal point. Then, let us divide like whole numbers. 7 divided by 14 cannot be, lagyan ng 0. 0 times 14 equals 0. 
7 minus 0 equals 7. Bring down 0. 70 divided by 14 equals 5. 5 times 14 equals 70. 70 minus 70 equals 0. Kaya naman ang sagot natin sa number 2 ay 5 tenths. Kayang-kaya na sagutan ng sigurado ang number 3, 4, and 5. For learning task 3, solve the following problems. Write your solutions and your answers in your notebook. Number 1. What is the quotient if 24 is divided by 48? So, 24 divided by 48. Napansin nyo li, mas malaki ang 48 na divisor kaysa sa 24 na dividend. Kaya naman, naging ng decimal point at 0. Then, itas ang decimal point. And let us divide. 24 divided by 48 cannot be put 0. 0 times 48 equals 0. 24 minus 0 equals 24 Bring down 0. Ilang 48 sa 240? That is 5. 5 times 48 equals 240. 240 minus 240 equals 0. Kaya naman ang ating sagot ay 5 tenths. For number 2 problem, Jean has 35 meters of wire for hanging pictures. She wants to divide it into 50 pieces for her frames. How long will she use for each frame? Kaya naman, 35 meters divided by 50. Mas malaki na naman ang ating divisor kaysa sa dividend. Then, lagyan ng decimal point at 0. Then, itaas ang decimal point. At mag-divide tayo tulad ng full numbers. 35 divided by 50 cannot be lagyan ng 0. 0 times 50 equals 0. 35 minus 0 equals 35. Bring down 0. 350 divided by 50 equals 7. 7 times 50, 350. 350 minus 350 equals 0. Kaya naman, ang ating sagot ay 7 tenths meter. Muli, mga kids, maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Ating ibahagi naman ito sa iba para makatulong din tayo. Hanggang sa muli, paalam, God bless you.